this this is so this is so I this was in response to a lot of people. You know, there were I, I'm sure you both heard there were a lot of rumors about alleged Ahsoka season two castings, characters like Abeloth, who's like a, sort of this dark feminine energy uh, that was very popular actually with a lot of the fans. People talking about bringing her in, various names thrown around. So I reached out to my contact inside of Lucasfilm slash Disney, and I didn't hear anything from them. And you know, I didn't. You know, I was like, okay, mm -hmm. here, right? And then on Monday, they got back to me. And they're saying, look, stuff is happening, but I'm actually not going to go into all the details for a reason, because mm -hmm. there's a trap being laid, a Game of Thrones trap. Right now, a lot, of, according to them, and I believe them because they're inside the machine, a lot of the rumors that we're seeing right now uh, are actually uh, not true. There is casting on a, a, actively on Ahsoka season two right now, and my contact mm -hmm. Sparrow says you know, you're going to like it. You're going the fans will mostly like it. They'll be happy with the characters and the people that are being chosen. But there's a lot of intentional misinformation being put oh. out by Lucasfilm for a couple of reasons. One is that they want people to start talking excitedly again about Star Wars after. No, not a great moment we're going through this acolyte. You know, I'd long believed it would never get released. It did get released. And the reason I believed and hoped it wouldn't get released is this is what happened, right? It's made mm -hmm. people even angrier than they were before. Like things might have calmed down. Now they're even more upset, right? And so this is part of it is getting people talking about a lot of these casting possibilities is a way for them to change the narrative right now. And also mm -hmm. there's a little bit of a, a, leak, a leaker's trap going on which, you know, is that whole play from Game of Thrones with like, you know, with his little birds, implanting different people with false stories to see which one gets out so they know who's leaking, right? So um, so my person was like, I'm not going to play that game because I, you know, I've survived so far not getting caught and I'm not going to get caught. So they wouldn't tell me. They're like, they, they wouldn't give me the details, but there is important casting happening but it's not necessarily mm -hmm. what you're hearing. So I would urge everyone to be very cautious about getting overexcited or unhappy with mm -hmm. some of these stories you're hearing because there's an actual game. And we've seen Lucasfilm plays a lot of games, sometimes to our benefit, often to our detriment. So on that issue, Lorraine, if you had any thoughts on, on that, what you've been hearing and whether that makes sense to you. You know, to, to be honest, mm -hmm. I hadn't even been paying attention to the casting um, for Soka season two hasn't really been um, hasn't really been on my radar. Mm -hmm. I do know that um, overall with season one of Ahsoka, I I was pretty disappointed, mm -hmm. um, mainly because well Rosario Dawson's my girl, and I just mm -hmm. feel that she wasn't directed well enough to let how big of an acting talent she is, mm -hmm. you know, shine, uh, shine through. So other yeah. than that, um, I had a, I had a, I had a reasonably okay time, you know, watching, uh, mm -hmm. watching, watching Ahsoka, but now I, ha I have not, I haven't heard anything okay. about, uh, about, about any season two casting. Yeah. Can so I good. Then, so? then you're not going to fall into this trap, you know, because they're, right. they're reaching out to YouTubers, to, to, to turn you guys into suckers and, and you're not falling into this trap, which is good, right? Uh, Let me just so read this, right? You know, in regards to mm -hmm. th this time, all Sparrow would allow me to say is casting for Soka 2 is indeed going on right now. And the fans are really going to like the choices and where the show is going. Mm -hmm. Um... So give me, mm. let me give context on that. Because yeah. I made a link in there. Um, mm. So last year, uh, about one month, about three weeks before we got the announcement that uh, in Ahsoka we're going to have a Thrawn uh, appear. We had the first, if you remember, there was a, a, a teaser trailer where you see the back of his head, right? And you're like, oh, and you see a little bit of blue skin. You're like, oh, that's Thrawn, right? That was three weeks after the same person inside of the company told me, oh, Thrawn's been cast and, you know, it's going to be big. And there had been no word that Thrawn was anywhere in the story. And I put it out there, but I said, can you tell me who who's cast? And they're like, no, I'm not going to do that for this reason, because they have a couple of different stories they're putting out there and they're trying to track. And so mm -hmm. it's the same thing. But we ended up scooping that Thrawn had been cast and three weeks later, Thrawn appeared. And then we discovered, of course, who the actor was. But so they, they are playing this game carefully because they haven't been caught, uh, despite the fact that, you know, a lot of drama has happened because of some of the revelations they've given to me. And so I'm going to respect that, that they're not going to, because they proved in the past. They said Thrawn was cast. Three weeks later, we see Thrawn for the first time appear, right? And then they're like, okay, good. Now you. See. And so they are saying that major characters uh, that the, uh, that most Lucas or Star Wars fans will be excited by are in Ahsoka season two, and the casting is happening right now. And the names will be people that people most people will like. So that's something of, of hope, even if it's general right now. I, I got to tell you, I'm just going to push back a little bit. You know, I was really unhappy with. Uh, the with with Ron uh, mm -hmm. at the end of the day 
especially what was, your, what was your complaint about him? Well, they made him an idiot. Written as an, you know, especially com sure compared means, to the, you do see some of the strategic stuff at the end. Compare, I'm just talking about the, like storyline wise, compared okay. to, to 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 Zahn's Thrawn, which mm -hmm. Zahn even Zahn has changed a, a little bit at, at this sure, point. He's, he's been catering to the to dumb down, uh, you know, Star Wars. Right, Listen, he's an older man. I get it. he's got to you know, got to get paid. He's got bills, you know. Mm -hmm. But so uh, I, I don't know where where I'm where I'm excited about. I mm -hmm. I think I think what might be interesting is. Who they recast for Balin? You yeah, know, like, a, like a Gerard Butler would be sensational. But I really was disappointed uh, mm -hmm. for the majority of the of, of the first season, mm -hmm. and especially with uh, Rosario. It's like, why is she not not invested? You can tell she's just like, yeah, you know, just just phoning it in. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, and that actually That's comes, I think, from the directing because at the time my contact had said mm -hmm. the they actually said this to me like the scripts are really good, but then we saw some of the dailies were like, um, you know, how are they being directed? Because it, the emotion that's on the page isn't coming across. That's something they said at the time. They're like, what's happening? So that may have been the directing of these episodes. I'll have to go back and look in some of these episodes who directed them, mm -hmm. but it was like the script was very emotional, and they're like. Why is it, you know, why is it being pulled? Why is emotion being pulled back? Because as sure. you said, Rosara can take it all the way, 180 degree, 360, she's taking it all the way, right? Well, she has. And, right. And, and to kind of add role, um, to, with that sorry, not, to, not to interrupt, but kind, no, to kind of add to that, because um, I do agree with Pauly about, uh, about Thrawn mm -hmm. um, and how he was written. I expected him to be the big bad, and it seems like they didn't push it that way hard enough the way they should have to make him believable. I thought I, mean, I thought Balaam was a big bad compared to what, you know, compared to how they portrayed Thrawn. Mm -hmm. But again, I do agree about Rosario Dawson because I keep in mind, look at her performance in the Haunted Mansion movie, mm -hmm. which was released way earlier than it should have been and panned a lot harder than it should have been either because it was actually mm -hmm. really good. You mm -hmm. compare her emotional performance in that to what is in Ahsoka. And I definitely agree that it's got to be the directing because Rosario has a ton of range, which is why she's one of my favorite mm -hmm. actresses. So as a Rosario Dawson fan, I felt extremely disappointed because I'm like, I know she I know she has greater range than that. So it almost so makes me want to ask the question. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's it kind of it, it, yeah, it's kind of just like, well, what was the Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess the reasoning behind directing her um, that uh, that way, but maybe they're yeah. trying to make her more zen. Maybe the, whoever the directors were interpreted the Jedi to be that way. Um, but the reality is, she's not a Jedi. She's walked away from that, and she's uh, she's uh, you know she's an independent person because of her of her willingness to follow her feelings. So the character, I agree, can be you know she certainly can take it much further than they took it, right? And and she's not meant to be a zen Jedi. She isn't that. Mm -hmm.